Despite the academic challenges many students face throughout the school year due to the pandemic, many didn't let that stop them from reaching their goals. KSBY News reporter Gina Avalos spoke to one student about being accepted into some prestigious universities. It always takes just a little bit of luck. So to know that your hard work paid off and, and you got that little roll of the dice, that little luck is an amazing feeling. Luck from hard work. That's what 17-year-old Claire Alford says got her to where she is now. A long list of acceptance letters from many prestigious Ivy League schools and other universities. The Rigetti High senior says there were moments she struggled during distance learning, but isn't letting that stop her from reaching her goal of becoming a doctor. Yeah, I think, you know, myself as well as pretty much everyone during distance learning, it was definitely a shock to get used to at the beginning, um, just kind of diving right in with no, no preparation whatsoever. Alford is an avid golfer and is in clubs like culture, community and cuisine, mentor leadership camps and does community service among many other great things. Over at Santa Maria High School, senior Andres Ramirez Enriquez received acceptance letters from Harvard, Yale, Brown, and Cornell University. He is involved in AVID, Youth Making Change, Society of Hispanic Engineers, and more. In a statement, Ramirez said, Being first generation has been a challenge, but my parents immigrated from Mexico for this exact goal. I hope that my journey can inspire the next generations of my community. He says he narrowed his choices down to Harvard and Yale. His major is still undecided, but he's planning on using his first two years to explore different fields. Alford hasn't chosen where she wants to attend, but says wherever she ends up will be a great experience. Her mom agrees. She's done all of this on her own, and I just want her to continue on that journey and be proud of who she is and uh, follow her heart. In Santa Maria, Gina Avalos, KSBY News.